Hey, good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We get a little bit of a cool down over the next couple of days and lower humidity, lower moisture levels in the air. I'll show that to you in just a moment. We did have some heavy rain overnight. Now, it wasn't as widespread as what I anticipated as far as the useful rainfall, but uh, some spots, very heavy rainfall. Sterling Heights reporting 4.71 inches of rain in, I think that was four hours time four or five hours time so there's a spot in Macomb County into Oakland County that picked up between two and five inches of rain in just a couple of hours time hey good morning Robin Thorne from Addison and good morning William Milam it looks like uh, let's get to it and show you what's going on on the radar right now a little different motion to the radar and that's a sign that the that the north northeast wind is starting to kick in so here's the showers from last night working their way to the southeast here is what i would call a wind shift line with probably some showers along it and you can see it's moving back toward the southwest that represents a northeasterly wind uh, moving into the northern parts of the state uh, so here's some reports. Mount Clemens, 2.16 inches in four hours. Uh, there's the 4.71 Sterling Heights. That's a three-hour rainfall total. And here you can see, again, not a real useful widespread rainfall. I thought from about Grand Rapids to Flint southward, we'd see a quarter to a half inch, maybe some three quarters. Hi, Steve Swanson and Anita Nichols. Uh, but really it was just this pocket right on the north side of Detroit that got uh, very heavy rainfall and uh, far southern parts of the state got some useful rainfall. Now our focus turns toward the northwest. This is a disturbance that's coming in from the northwest and it does have some showers with it right up across the UP. Those will be driving southeast and diminishing somewhat. Hey Lucinda Dreadnought and good morning Judy Boomer and Steve Swanson. Good morning. And Debbie Gray. So this is the next area of rainfall to watch and here it is on the radar forecast and it's not really robust. We're at noon. Uh, and by the way, lazy moisture in the far southern part of the state can spark some scattered showers or thunder showers today. Good morning, Joe Wheeler. Yeah, I know, Lawrence, we need the rain. Uh, and over the next seven days, there's several more chances, okay? So this is four in the afternoon. Maybe some showers along the south, and then the showers in the UP now will be moving into northwest lower Michigan. This is 7, 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11, and midnight. So basically the story is the showers up here will be slowly moving toward the southeast into lower Michigan overnight tonight, and then early uh, tomorrow morning in the southeast. Uh, we might see some drought status. We're seeing we have been ranked abnormally dry. It takes a while to get into drought status, especially since we have so much uh, water table moisture. Okay, radar. Uh, this is the model going out into the future. And just want to show you that uh, Thursday stays a little on the showery side. And then this weekend both the european and this u.s model sneak in an area of showers and thunderstorms on that southwesterly wind so i don't think we've gone totally dry now here is good morning james piper from chesney uh here are the high temperatures today uh, we'll call it right there call it low 80s southern half of the state mid to upper 70s, northern half of lower in the UP. Tomorrow, a few degrees cooler into the upper 70s in the south. Thursday, probably the coolest day. Hey, Walt, the rain has not come to a lot of us, okay? Uh, so Thursday looks like the coolest, most comfortable day with temperatures in the 70s, 
lowest humidities. Friday looks like a great day with temperatures in the upper 70s. And then we go back to the southwesterly wind and we're looking at low 80s, mid to upper 80s on Sunday, mid 80s on Monday. And that I think is gonna be a pretty common theme. Um, mid 80s next week will be pretty common. So yesterday, I wrote about summer not ending and that the extended forecast six to ten day eight to fourteen and the three even three to four week forecast are warmer than normal bear in mind now the average high temperature is slowly slipping not quickly just yet it's it starts to slip quickly in September but in August it goes down about a degree every four or five days okay so when we get to next week our average high temperature is 78, 79, 80 degrees. And when we're talking about warmer than normal temperatures, I think we're gonna have a lot of mid to upper 80s. We're probably not gonna have 90s, probably not. Um, depends on the rainfall situation in the next six to 10 days. But point being is very warm and humid will be probably what we'll call it as opposed to hot. These are the dew points, and remember, when dew points are in the 60s and 70s, it's humid, and when they're in the 50s and 40s, it's drying out, and let's go to this afternoon, and the humidity is still hanging around in the southern half of the state, but northern half in the UP, it is really dried out, and then as we go to tonight, this is overnight tonight, you can see how the drier air comes in the lower, uh, less moisture to the atmosphere. And that's gonna be kind of common in the overnight hours here the next few days. It'll kind of pulse up a little bit on humidity in the afternoons, but not be humid, uh, just kind of comfortably warm. And then I do wanna take you into Saturday and the weekend. And then as that southwesterly wind reestablishes, then we're back to the humid conditions. So there you have it. Heavy rain overnight in isolated locations. We didn't get a good useful rainfall like uh, we had hoped to have in the southern half of the state and we really do need the rainfall now. We still have a chance with scattered showers and thunder showers this afternoon northwest lower tonight across southern lower into tomorrow uh, and then on the weekend, it looks like as the edge of the heat and humidity comes in, we will get into a burst of thunderstorms. But right now, I'd plan on a summery weekend as far as temperatures go. And I'd plan on just riding this summer out as long as you can, because we know what comes next, the fun we call winter. All right, well, I guess we know that uh, fall comes first. I don't know if, it's, if you've noticed this, but up around the Traverse City interlocking area, I'm seeing quite a few trees that already have the hint of fall color. I track that a little bit. Usually I consider late August a normal time when I start seeing a few spotty trees here and there, but I'm actually seeing uh, down certain roads that I've driven for years, I'm actually seeing quite a few trees already have a little bit of a hint, uh, almost of a reddish burgundy on the maple trees. Hey, wow, Nilsa Tiafilo? Hopefully I got that right. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining me. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Pretty quiet weather pattern. No severe weather expected here uh, over the next day or so. I'll keep you updated on that. And as always, we're searching for uh, weather information that interests you. So watch for that today. I'm going to talk about the continuing to expand harmful algae bloom in Lake Erie. The weather, unfortunately, is perfect for that. If the weather is perfect for us for late summer, the weather is perfect for the algae bloom to continue to expand. Take care. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa.